<laughs> Welcome, my fellow EXEs, to Silver Plays version one of Silver.exe. This is how the silver from X's dimension became Silver.exe. Honestly, it's an absolute insult to the person who merged with me. I am Silver.exe. I am the original, and I will not have been captured by this Sonic.exe in this fashion. And the reason why I am saying it like this is because Silver and I have gained mutual respect for each other. We are basically friends in a sense because of the fact that we had to merge. So when I say that this is an insult to me, it's an insult to both of us. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. Sega. <laughs> uh, for round four, round four means the reason why it says round four is because Sonic.exe slaughtered other characters before he got to Silver. So Silver was round four, and I believe Rouge was round three. Snally was round two, and. Tails, Knuckles, and AB were round one. No, wait, I think Sally was round three. No, wait, no, Sally was round two. And we are starting. Of course, not perfect, where Amy was slaughtered in this universe, apparently, from what I gathered. Now, first of all, Amy wasn't slaughtered in my universe. She had her face horribly mangled by Sark, but she wasn't slaughtered. I made sure she stayed alive, and of course I would. For in the future, she became my darling wife. <laughs> oh yes. And the way she became a demon, or an EXE as you can as you call us, it was a more pleasurable fashion, if you catch my drift. <laughs> a little Sonic mingle here, because I still am Sonic in here somewhere. But yes, getting this thing started. Error, error, here we go. Error failed to respond. Character Amy restart. <laughs> and there's Amy's character model. She looks like a doll. A sort of doll that a child ripped apart and then their parents tried to sew together. It's a hack job. And she would not, and it looks like something Sark did to one of his girls. If I remember correctly, Sally looked like she was sold together. It was pathetic. Really, it was. But Sark loves his horribly mangled bodies. I think he has a corpse fetish. But considering he's a demon, that isn't really frowned upon. <laughs> Kind and fair. Right. <sighs> okay. Let's get to the end first before I talk about this. Because I really, really want to talk about this. It absolutely irritates me. So, here is Cream the Rat. Sark felt that he wanted to keep her as a pet. So he tore her apart and then turned her into an EXE as well. The thing that the thing that disgusted me about this is that Cream was 
eight years old. And so, when Stark made her his servant, he played with her body. It's disgusting. I absolutely despise that about Sark. But luckily he's dead now. But yes, it was one of the things that grossed me out. I'm a demon, but even I have standards. I do not want to rip a child's body apart and then then sew it back together and then have fun with it. Sark was truly a loose cannon. He was a freak of nature. And I am so glad that I slaughtered him. But getting back on this, as you guys can plainly see, Silver is horrified looking at Cream's body like this. But as you guys know, since I'm the one controlling him, I had to use the go to the spikes. Silver would have teleported away. But because I had to play the game normally, this is what Silver has to do. Hey, we're about to smash into these spikes now. There's Cream the Rabbit, how she looked as an EXE. Uh, she was still eight, Sark. <laughs> and that is why I killed you, you stupid bastard. Heal. Okay. We're going to talk about this here. You see, this right here was supposed to be Rouge, but for some odd reason, Sonic.exe for this universe used a model of Shadow the Hedgehog. Is he retarded? No, seriously. Is he absolutely freaking retarded? Does that look like Rouge to you? No, it's Shadow. And Speaking of Shadow, Shadow wasn't found until literally an, an entire millennia after we took over the planet. And by that time, we realized that Shadow was too powerful. And so we kept Shadow contained. In fact, I completely the, sealed him off even better than how he was originally and then I dropped his coffin under the sea under the blood sea where it shall never be found by anyone ever again in my universe shadow is at the bottom of the ocean and that is where he will stay in my universe for all eternity Me. I don't care if I turned over a new leaf. I am the only ultimate life form to be allowed in this universe. That is how it has to be. Now then, back on topic with this. This irritates me so much looking at this because this is supposed to be Rouge, but that looks like Shadow. It's even silver in this game looks confused. Like, is this supposed to be silver? I mean, is this supposed to be rouge or is this supposed to be shadow? As you guys see, character was supposed to be rouge. <sighs> I'm not saying that again. It was fun the first couple of times, but now it's annoying. And you see, Rouge is not even here. X could even be bothered of placing her character model in this little scene here. Instead, he just allowed it to be exactly the same. Isn't this supposed to be terrifying? Oh, speaking of this, look at my quills. Look at my beautiful quills. Why does it look like I haven't brushed my hair in years? What the hell was that? St 
stupid EAC thinky. My quills are sharp. They are majestic. And they do not look like I've been through a meat grinder. Or what the hell? This irritates me. This insults me. So, once I'm done with this, I will fight EAC. And I will rip that son of a bitch's soul from its body. And then I will destroy it. And devour all of his flesh. This insultless will not stand. And this is where Sally Acorn was murdered. <sighs> I didn't even need no, I didn't even, de I decided not to even waste time here. It was just like, oh, just stand around looking at this while there's a pool of blood that I'm obviously supposed to go into. No, I just went into the pool of blood just to kick this over with. See, Shadow, as you guys can plainly see here, Shadow is still a lot as it shows Shadow's character model. And in the frame, it still has color in it, unlike all the others. And for some reason, Rouge as well, even though in my universe she was dead, and I guess in this universe she was dead as well, but apparently, Shadow, her and Shadow were given, were stated here to be alive still, which is pretty stupid since Rouge was killed, I guess, in another episode. Sally Acorn failed fail to respond. Wanna gonna to die, Silver. That isn't even English. Sonic.exe? Learn how to speak properly, you fucking idiot. It's... Would you rather die or... Do you wanna die or... You're going to die, Silver. Say it like that. Don't say, wanna, gonna, to die, Silver. Nobody talks like that, and it's not scary at all. Now, in this part right here, it's showing you how Sally was killed with the world closing in on her. Silver? Silver, in this case, would have just used chaos control to travel to another dimension. In fact, Silver would have sent EXE to another dimension. That EXE, that Sonic EXE, not me, the other one. Do not think that closing the world would ever stop Silver. Just bouncing around, because apparently Sally couldn't even do a jump in this universe. Oh, that's another thing. Everyone Sonic.exe in this universe has killed so far have been people without abilities. You see, Shadow wasn't here because Sonic.exe would never dare to actually face him. So, of course, he is still alive somewhere. Sally, who he killed, was basically a normal Mobian without any special abilities of her own. So easy to kill. Cream the rabbit, she can fly with her big ears, of course, but she too had no powers of th whatsoever to speak of, so she would have been easy to murder as well for this EXE. Now, I give him credit, he did defeat Tails and Knuckles, but he killed them when they were EXE himself themselves, and when they became EXE, they were already beneath him because they were his servants. So he could, so he could easily have killed them without actually ever having to fight him, and that is how he killed him and them in my universe as well. So yeah, yeah, this Sonic.exe is weak compared to the one compared to me and Sark, I should say. But let's continue on. And here comes Sonic.exe X. Pawn 
cause silver chaos control team to another dimension. This is over. That's how it fucking ended. Of course, that's not how this game is supposed to end, but that's how it would have originally happened if it was a silver that I may emerge with. Ooh, so scary hearing somebody scream like that. Music to my ears. Ever fail to respond, character silver restart. EXE destroys my computer apparently. Oh, so scary. <laughs> Oh, if you guys are wondering what that sound was, that was the demon language. Basically, Sonic.EAZ told Silver it is no use. <sighs> what is this supposed to be? Hell no. That's supposed to be me as an EXE? Is that supposed to be that redness supposed to be my power? First of all, you son of a bitch, my power is still green. Thank you very much. I do not look like that. That looks like a child decided to use MS Paint and tried to color in silver squeals. This is an absolute insult on me. I respect silver. Why do I respect silver? Because if it wasn't for him, um, Airjack would have destroyed our universe as well. And me and silver had to merge in order to stop Airjack. And that is the reason why I am here today, and I am the ultimate life form that I am today, is because me and Super merged to stop energy. But this, this right here, this pathetic red coloring, this does not exist. I have green powers. I do not have red over my body. <sighs> This is worse than those stupid Sonic, those stupid Sonic OCs. At the very least, the X could have gotten my powers correct, but no, Psycho Power is red because O is synonymous with blood, so O is more terrifying. No, it is not. <sighs> Just calm down, Silver. You will take care of him later. Uh, let's get back to the video. This is Silver.exe, apparently. So who is he going to go up against? Hmm. I'm waiting. You're keeping me waiting, EXE. Blaze. Oh. Let's talk about Blaze. In my universe, unfortunately, she died before I got to ever see her when I was still Sonic.exe. Sark is the one who murdered her, and the method he used to attempt to turn her to an EXE. Let's just say that the process failed, and she burned the planet we were on into a crisp. No, her powers hers burned it so badly that the planet turned into particles, and it had to be reassembled once I had to come back. But yes, that is the so Blaze never became an EXE in my universe, unfortunately. But if it was up to me and Silver, we would have turned her into an EXE, the method we used on Amy. Oh, and what method did I use to turn Amy into Amy.exe? Let's just say that it was very 
pleasurable. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed playing with her sexy little body. But of course, Blaze unfortunately did not get to experience the pleasure that Silver.exe could have granted her. The poor child. Maybe one day I will get, maybe one day when I fully manifest my potential, I'll gain the ability to recreate her. Or I should go to another universe, bring her here, and turn her into an EXE in my way. But anyways, let's just see how Silver Tur deals with her. Use your red psychokinesis to slaughter her, of course. Blaze failed to respond. And we're going back to the screen. It's no use. <laughs> it's no use, Hunter. Now, my roommate is going to murder this EXE when we find him for that. Because placing Hunter's name, even though he didn't put the entire name on it, placing his name on here would just piss him off. So, once I find this EXE, I'm definitely going to deliver his rotting corpse to Hunter so that Hunter can destroy ripping the rest of it to shreds. Game over, Sonic.exe. And game over to you, Silver.exe from the other er, zone. So anyways, there you guys have it. Silver.exe volume one. This does not make this does not make me want to play the rest of them because this was an insult to me and Silver. As I stated previously, Silver would have Silver is far too powerful for this EXE to ever mess with. And he would have dealt with him quickly. Before this Sonic.exe had his way. So, now that this video opened, here is a message for X. I am coming for you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, I hope all of you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys leave it down, leave me comments down in the comment section below, telling me what you guys thought of this video, and tell me what you guys thought of, what you guys think of my channel so far. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe if you are new to my channel and you are looking forward to more content from me, Silver.exe. I plan to create more videos today, so look forward to them as well. I have no idea what they are at the very least right now, but I'm definitely going to look them up while I am editing this video. And so once this is posted, I will be, I will get started working on them as well. Also, make sure you guys go subscribe to Hunter the Rick Trek, and he is a friend of mine. And so, I would like to promote his channel as well, uh, especially because he does a lot of gameplay videos. If you guys like visual novels, you guys can go enjoy him, and you guys can go enjoy his visual novel playthroughs. They are interesting, to say the least. I myself wouldn't really get into visual novels, but hey, to each their own, right? I will support my friends, because that is what Silver taught me. Me once we had merged. I should actually say Silver and Amy. Speaking of Amy, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. 
and go play with my wife. So, I will see all of you guys during the next video. This is Silver.exe, signing out. Chaos Control. <laughs>